Hey everybody, welcome to the Newman Films tutorial on how to make an epic trailer. Uh, I'm going to get into the most important part of a good trailer in my mind. And that is trailer music. I, I've always loved trailer music. I'm a huge Two Steps From Hell fan. I've been in love with trailers and just how exciting they are since I was a kid. And so I want to quickly talk about a new direction we're going uh, with Newman Films. If you're an indie filmmaker and you want to show stuff um, anywhere other than YouTube, you need to own the rights to it. Most people end up just going with Video Copilot's Pro Scores, which is a great, great tool. And that's where I got the inspiration for this idea is because Video Copilot Pro Scores saved me on so many projects. Uh, it's probably one of the best buys you could make as an indie filmmaker, but it's three years old and everybody and their grandma uses it. So you're not gonna come out with anything that people haven't heard. And so we decided to start producing our own music. We are going to be launching a new website and a new product starting on June 1st. Uh, the website is already up. It's called oneproductionmusic.com. And the first product we're gonna release is the trailer tool bag number one. And this is, uh, in my mind, a great product because it gives you so many options to customize a trailer. You can head over there now and you can listen to some samples off of the package and you can even buy some of the tracks early if you want to. We're also going to do something uh, where we feature a weekly free item and this could be something new we create, it could be something off of the trailer tool bag, um, there's actually one up right now. It's a sound design element and uh, we're going to add a new one every Monday. So um, if you check the weekly freebie portion of the site on Mondays, there will always be a new uh, sound file for you to download. And sometimes it'll be full songs, sometimes it'll just be elements. Um, but that's something pretty cool about the site. The trailer tool bag will be available June 1st and it will be a uh, downloadable product only. I'll be uploading a lot more about this product in the next few days. So lastly, uh, another thing, and this leads right into how you edit a trailer from beginning to end, um, the trailer card. Uh, I always use those at the start of my trailers and you can get in trouble for using the actual trailer card. So I took the real one and I changed the text that needed to be changed and I'm offering that as a free PSD file. Uh, you can open it up in Photoshop and you can customize it to have it say your own websites and your production company. And then if you don't have Photoshop uh, included in the uh, zip file is just a JPEG with no websites and a general production company. Uh, that is located just in the, uh, in the blog section on the front page of the website. And if you just go in there, you can click on this link and it will download the zip file, which it includes the PSD and the JPEG file. So this is how we start out the trailer. I usually like to give about two seconds of black and then I uh, start the trailer card. And I usually have the trailer card go for about three seconds. So now the next thing I'll do is I'll add another video track and I'll bring down Al Delcy's uh, letterbox crop mark. And this is the 2.39 to 1 aspect ratio. Before I go any further, let me uh, introduce Al Delcy. He is a fellow DSLR filmmaker, and he is offering this really cool letterbox package uh, for free on his website. So I'm including the link to his website in the description of this video. Uh, it's just aldelcy.com, and if you go to his uh, blog section, there's a posting here about the letterboxing masks. And it's really... Uh, it's really useful. Um, so instead of having to go in and do each clip or whatever, you just add a new track and throw this uh, crop mark on there and extend it over your entire video and you have your video letterbox. So he has different uh, window sizes. He has 4K and he has 2K and he has uh, 4, 3, 16 by 9, uh, 2.39 uh, and 2.76, I believe. Uh, so it's just a really nice uh, tool to have, and I actually use it. So so while I'm here, uh, I'm going to talk about another very important part of uh, a good trailer. And uh, this goes past trailers and into really just having a good production company. And that's uh, having a intro, uh, a motion graphics title treatment for your production company. And Al Delcy actually did mine for me. So... Um, 
he does custom work. He's really, really, really good. And he's uh, not very pricey. So I would suggest doing this over uh, something like videohive.net because other people use those projects from videohive.net. So you want something custom for your production company because you want it to be unique to just you. So that's Al Delcy's website. Go there, download the free letterbox zip file, which is in his blog, and contact him about what his prices are for a custom uh, motion graphics intro for your company. Okay, back to the trailer. So this is um, Al Delcy's custom trailer intro that he did for us. And uh, in most trailers, these don't hang on the screen for too long. So you might have a six to seven second intro, but... I'm just going to um, kind of cut off the beginning and just have it on here for a couple seconds. And as you can see with the letterbox, you need to adjust the position of each shot a little bit um, so that it's centered within the letterboxing. For the titles of a trailer, I like to go to videohive.net and I like to uh, cycle through their titles and find one that fits my project. Um, Sometimes I'll do them custom on my own, but a lot of the times I, I don't have time or the patience to work with motion graphics, so I'll just download them from the site. Uh, I'm going to choose the song All Matter, and this is included on the trailer tool bag. Editing a trailer, uh, I would almost always suggest editing to the beat of the song. If the song doesn't have a beat, you have a little more uh, flexibility. If, if it's just like a, a violin track or something, then you can sort of edit to the flow of the violin but if it's a heavy uh trailer song i would suggest cutting to the beat of the drum so in this one i'll make each individual cut when the drums hit and so most of these shots uh in this are just sort of b-roll and random stuff we've done that's not really the point of this tutorial the point of this tutorial is showing you some tools that are at your disposal that can take your trailer from looking like an amateur youtube trailer to almost looking like a hollywood movie trailer and that's a little it's just little things like the uh the trailer card uh good motion graphics a nice intro for your company and then music and so I'm, i can't really tell you how to edit your trailer but I can kind of point you to where some of these tools exist and sort of what I use. And uh, there's a few constant things with trailer that I always notice. There's a buildup and then there's a climax. So I've included that in the uh, production music package, uh, intros and climaxes. It also helps to have some voiceover that you can sort of use to carry along the slow parts. Like I, I believe that in a trailer, there shouldn't really be any down spots. Even if the music is sort of like an intro type of song, I still think there should be stuff there so it's not just static and still. So for this particular trailer, I just went back and I recorded some random voiceover, threw an effect on it to make it sound like I was on a telephone, and added that to the parts of the trailer that seemed a bit dull. So if, if you're wor working on a trailer that's from a full production, you'll probably have audio clips already saved up that you'll want to use. And I would suggest throwing those in because a lot of the times with uh, Hollywood trailers, they'll have the guy with the deep voice uh, talking. You know, we, 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 we as indies probably can't pull that off. But um, you can sort of accomplish the same thing by having sounds and dialogue from your movie throughout the trailer. So make sure you guys head on over to uh, Al Delcy's site. If you want a motion graphics uh, intro for your production company, just make sure to contact him and uh, you guys can talk through that. Make sure while you're there to download his letterbox package and keep an eye out for more info on the trailer tool bag. I'll probably be releasing a promo for it here in the next couple days. And then on June 1st, you'll be able to purchase it and there will be tutorials. In the meantime, head over to oneproductionmusic.com and I've included all the necessary links in the description of this video. Check out the site, listen to some of the songs before the tool bag comes out, and I'm excited to share all the music with you guys. So thanks for watching and talk to you soon. This message is for the authorities. My name is Brandon Presley. I need you to know that when you find my body, I didn't die of starvation. I didn't freeze to death. 
I need you to know that I was murdered. I can't identify my killer. I haven't seen his face. that he wears a flat cap.